Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto and today guys we have something special. It's all about Spark, FLR, Flare Networks and it's absolutely amazing. This thing, I mean this this project Chris as a whole there is Flare Networks project, uh, the Spark token, the FLR, it could be massive couldn't it? Yeah I, I get a feeling like it's going to be huge and yeah this news is 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 big. Let's uh, get into it, Nick. I, I love Absolutely. this. Absolutely. So, guys, <laughs> already in it. It's not even live. <laughs> I know. If you guys um, find this useful and informative, do go ahead and smash that like button. Chris really appreciates it. So do I. And if you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, do consider subscribing. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all the videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right. With all that stuff out of the way, let's dive straight in um, and take a look at this. Okay. So, Ripple-backed um, Flare Networks announces Spark FLR token airdrop to Litecoin holders. And you're thinking, oh, hold up one second. I thought it was just for XRP. Why all of a sudden are they talking about airdropping to Litecoin? So I rightfully say there are some irritated individuals out there. But bear with us one second, because as we get into this, something really interesting comes about. So, um, Ripple-backed cryptocurrency startup Flare Networks has announced its plan to uh, basically airdrop Spark or FLR tokens to Litecoin holders, right? And bring smart contract capabilities to the cryptocurrency, often referred to as the silver, um, as silver to Bitcoin's gold, right? So, um, and we hear that a lot, you know, Bitcoin is gold, Litecoin is silver, blah, blah, blah. I get all that, right? Um, according to the tweet, um, the startup published uh, Flare will be integrating LTC ahead of the network launch in quarter two this year, um, which uh, will allow LTC to be used trustlessly on Flare networks um, with Ethereum-based smart contracts, right? So a lot of that's, we kind of get that, it's pretty basic, right? So Flare networks is in essence running the Ethereum virtual machine. That is the platform that it's working on. Uh, and ultimately they're able to tokenize Litecoin, they're able to tokenize XRP, pretty much tokenize anything. And they put the F in front, right? So XRP became FXRP. And in this case, uh, Litecoin will probably become FLTC, right? Pretty simple concept. Um, a lot of people are again thinking, huh, well, where are these additional tokens coming from, right? Because that's something that you asked me, right, Chris? Uh, it is, and, yeah. yeah, straight away. Right, straight away, right? And um, so basically, Flare has added more details. Uh, uh, will be revealed next week. So, you know, we're waiting for that. Uh, although a lot is still unclear, uh, this likely means developers will be able to use a Litecoin on the Flare network and um, to be able to create decentralized applications or dApps similar to those found on the Ethereum network, right? Fine. Uh, this will allow developers to bring decentralized finance, DeFi uh, ecosystem to Litecoin. Not a problem, get that. Uh, without having to create tokenized versions of the cryptocurrency on Ethereum. Yeah, get that. Although in theory, you're doing the same thing anyway. It's just that it's kind of pre-created for you, but we'll park that for a second. Flare has revealed uh, it will um, reduce the token allocation from the Flare Foundation by 5 million FLR so that the airdrop can be you know, given to um, LTC participants, right? So they're not lowering XRP airdrop. They are taking 5 million Spark tokens out of the Flare Foundation's allocation, and they're using that um, to basically give to um, Litecoin holders. So, okay, fine. So now there's two cryptocurrencies on the Flare networks. Seems pretty reasonable. We always knew there were going to be more than just XRP, right? Um, but it is interesting, and I'm going to get into why it's even more interesting in a moment. So the Flare Foundation is a, a non-profit organization, we get that, um, and has been written in its constitution, it must uh, be wound down and all its spark tokens burned if token holders agree its existence is no longer beneficial to the network, right? So fantastic, there's some clear principles about what's going on there. Spark tokens um, are to be used for governance on the Flare network um, through voting mechanisms and token holders will be able to earn a return on their holdings um, basically committing the Spark tokens as collateral to secure the trustless issuance and redemption of FXRP, a protocol built to safely enable a trustless issuance, um, usage and redemption of XRP on Flare. And that's where I get interesting, right? Because they're talking about XRP, but surely if they're doing the same thing for Litecoin, 
it's the same for Litecoin. It should be FLTC, right? Or um, yeah, TC. Um, and then you'll be able to issue, um, you know, LTC on the Flare network, just in that tokenized version of it, that protocol version of it, right? So what really gets me interested here, guys, is there's no more than 100 billion Spark tokens ever created, right? And now that 100 billion has to be used as collateral for two cryptocurrencies, not just one. And as more cryptocurrencies potentially come on here, it has to be used for multiple cryptocurrencies as collateral. This thing has serious potential to be worth a fortune in the future. I'm not sure if you agree with that, Chris. Yeah, Nick, I think you're right. I think this is going to be worth an absolute fortune in a minute. And I think, you know, it's going to be one of those ones that has a run on Ethereum. I really do. Yeah, absolutely. So let's take a look at Litecoin, right? So this is obviously the Litecoin chart. Um, so obviously we, we're familiar with what XRP is currently doing, right? And and I talk about this a lot, don't I, Chris, right? Where mm. um, ultimately, if something is going to be used as collateral, it has to have a significant value that is going to be able to collateralize whatever asset you're trying to issue. And um, in the white paper for FXRP, it shows you what N equals is N is the variable. So n equals 0 0.5 in the example that they give that would mean that um basically one flr token is represents two um, xrps right so i don't know how the collateral system would work for for litecoin or what n would equal in in litecoin but obviously it is already substantially higher than something like xrp so what does that mean if you have to use spark tokens or flr to collateralize litecoin i mean it's going to have to hold a value but anyway so we can obviously see what's going on here this is on the four hourly i'm going to just throw this to a daily and um, so we can see exactly what's happened here right we can obviously see that leg up etc etc now if i go ahead and throw on a um fibonacci retracement i'm just going to put it down on this level um, so we can get some idea of potentially yeah, that breakout that we had here um, hitting our first target at 121 dollars uh, moving up getting coming a retest on that level moving up hitting the second target at 168 dollars getting that higher point coming back down we obviously have that current area that's quite nice to see a test there and uh, obviously it's formerly uh, over here right so we're getting that that level of support from the history okay across here we can see it quite clearly I'm, i won't going to mark it but you get the idea um so ultimately i still think that's a really good place we obviously came right down here testing that former level um, so things are moving up again, and I'll throw this back into that four hourly chart so we get an idea, right? We came down, uh, we tested that higher level that we've obviously been testing a lot over here, right? So we know that's the, the point that we're going to come down and test with LTC. It used to be resistance, it flipped to support. So that's all really good stuff, right? So we can see all that. On this top end here, we obviously came through here, unable to close it. We finally broke through, had lots of candles in this area here, um, and obviously come back down. So I imagine that we're going to see something in, yeah, what's not surprising really, but um, we obviously had this area here as an area of testing because you can see it's right here, right? Acting as support here and resistance here. Let's see if we can get above this line and get back up into to motion. I think we're we're getting very close to that alt season, aren't we, Chris? We are, yeah. I really think it's it's almost upon us now, Nick. Yeah, absolutely. So I think we're going to see if we can get past that 149 level again, breaching up our target here at 168 and then heading towards that 215 and 244 on the shorter term. I think Litecoin's got a lot of potential uh, this particular bull cycle. I think we're going to see some really nice, significant numbers in 2021 for Litecoin. And what that means for FLR, I think is going to be absolutely insane. Um, watch this space, guys, because I am so confident the FLR is going to be an absolute, um, it's going to just dis uh, destroy people's thoughts. So they, they all think it's going to be like worth maybe one cent, right? So many people. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your what mind. You're trying to, <laughs> trying to articulate there, Nick. That's exactly it. So it's going to blow your mind, guys. Watch this space. FLR, when it gets launched in quarter two with both XRP and LTC, it's going to just absolutely blow your minds guys watch this space it's an interesting one chris uh what do we always say if you found this useful and informative go ahead and smash that like button chris really appreciates it so do i um and if you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed do go ahead and subscribe by subscribing you will be kept up to date with all the videos and live streams that we do here at cheeky crypto and with all that said we hope you have a fantastic day guys and we'll catch you all in the next one 
Take care, everyone.